Um, there was a clip released. I'm very excited, guys. So, clip released for X Men Dark Phoenix, or just Dark Phoenix, um, that got released today. I don't know about you, but this looks absolutely terrible. Um, Yo, those suits look like. Just trash. Yo, Sansa looks so unhappy to be there. <laughs> she, she was, was apparently. Yeah, you know, she was like, yo, I just want to be the queen of the north. <laughs> yeah, uh, she just. reportedly said that this was not uh, a good experience for her. Well, she also said, she had made a comment um, that uh, um, she did not enjoy working with um, Brian Singer. Singer. Yeah. yeah, she said he, she felt very uncomfortable. I was like, because he's a pedophile. Oh, yeah, creeps will do that to you. Yeah, he's a pedo. You can smell it on him. Yeah, <laughs> fucking pedo. Um, so in this clip, one, they're wearing the worst suits. Um, somehow they manage, they, they manage to give the X-Men suits and then just make them look worse than the leather suits that they gave them in previous films, uh, which they're is wearing hard. cotton. Yeah. <laughs> cotton breeze, Terrence. Cotton breeze. Uh, they all look like shit. Um, even though they all had individual different costumes and at the end of the last movie, but they were like, nah, we can't do that in this movie. That would be stupid. It's not like the fans want that. Okay. God, Marvel is going to do such a better job with this. Um, I bet Sophie Turner really regrets uh, jumping on this now. Um, so they are informed that they have to do a, 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 a snatch and grab in space to help some, some NASA uh, astronauts. The scene is three minutes and 19 seconds, and it literally goes something like this. X-Men walk in. Mystique is like, we got to go to space. Grab these people. Quicksilver's like, I have a million questions. Mystique, we don't have time for questions. Immediately, they get into the Blackbird, um, which I don't think looks nearly as good as it did in the original movies. Um, They fire off into space. By the way... Going into space, they just take a regular ass plane. But okay, it's yeah, fine. But it's I mean, it's bird. comics. Whatever. It's like, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and they're immediately in space. By the way, 45 seconds in, we go into space. I have questions. No time question. Space. And they just, they're in space. There's no cutting. That's just how it fucking happens. Yo, that's gotta be just a poor trailer cut. No, yeah, no, it it's a, a it's a trailer. movie clip. It's a clip no, from the no, actual no, fucking it, movie. Yeah, it can't be. It can't Yo, be. It can't be. I was like, no, it can't be. No, I refuse to believe that. That's the <laughs> no, they did. They did I'm fifteen right no, things. No, no. They did fifteen things in forty five seconds. No, this is a trailer cut. <laughs> yeah. By the way, trailer. by the way, they go into space. Wearing the same clothes that they wore when they were just hanging out on Earth. They don't have well, space they, helmets. They don't need space helmets because it's the Blackbird. Right? No, but but Terrence, Nightcrawler and Quicksilver need space helmets because, because they go they're into going the... to save people from a damaged spaceship, and all of those people have helmets on. Right, right. which I assume is because they're being exposed right. to space. Is it because Quicksilver moves so fast he doesn't have to worry about? He can just hold his breath. Well, what the fuck, about Nightcrawler? Though? Doesn't Nightcrawler? Wait, 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 wait. Before we even continue, doesn't Nightcrawler need to see? Where he yeah he's got to see Shut where the he fuck up with your questions like, I'm, like I'm not a huge comic book guy but I recall in the other movie they said that he says I have to see where I have to have been somewhere before I actually go there so technically he was on that spaceship before right no he yeah for him to teleport yes. so that's correct <laughs> right and he knows exactly the distance. Right, right. Because they're to, moving. So he's to, been there before. Yeah. He has to have been there before, or he has to see where see. he's going. So did they so like? That he well, did they like him. stop in front of the spaceship and so he look, <laughs> he look, at, the hey, look at the rear view mirror? Like, yeah, <laughs> and then they just teleport. <laughs> Is that how that works? Yo, you don't even follow. Like, you don't even <laughs> follow this shit. You don't even follow this shit, and you just did a better job of writing this goddamn movie. They don't believe in. They don't believe in paying they attention don't give to their a own movie. Continuity. Apparently. No, they care zero. By the way, and Quicksilver can stop time, right? Yeah, he's At the most point, powerful mutant ever. Time. Yeah. By the way, he also is super fast in zero gravity. Yeah. How the fuck does that work? <laughs> what friction is he using? <laughs> right. <laughs> the friction of like his good looks. What the fuck are we talking about here? Like you see him, you see him push off of of of, uh, of, of one of the people, but then it's like, but then he turns around and just kind of flies over. Like it, 
It doesn't make any sense. Like, Ooh. if he's that fast, he technically could have, like, flew into the spaceship himself, right? Here's my question. Why the fuck are the other X-Men there? What you gonna do? What's, what's Storm? I mean, what's Storm gonna do? Yeah, yeah. What's Cyclops gonna do? Face. I mean, she's the weather app, right? Like, <laughs> AccuWeather. <laughs> she's essentially what the forecast, right? Like, she's <laughs> what she gonna do? Make it rain? Dark. <laughs> <laughs> like, bitch, ain't no hey, thing. Storm, can you do something about that sun? Not really. Nah. <laughs> like, nah, can you help nah, with the solar flare? I, we, we, I mean, that ain't really. A, that, I mean, that like that's not like, really on the yo, forecast control, today. Like, I control fucking. I mean, like, I control like, like Earth weather anomalies. I control rain and snow. Can you help with climate change? Well, that's climate. That's not weather. <laughs> <laughs> Those are they're different. <laughs> yo, why is she there? Why is Cyclops there? We can use a concussive fucking laser <laughs> for what? <laughs> Yeah, maybe I can help, guys. No, you really can't. We only need Nightcrawler. Yeah, there's a big fuck. There's a hole in this goddamn thing. Right. So how is he breathing? How is, <laughs> how is his bare skin exposed to the the vacuum of space? How does he not just blow the fuck up or just freeze to death? Yeah. yeah uh, and here's the other thing. Okay. I mean, I've seen Guardians like, of the Galaxy. Jesus Christ! It Christ takes a piece. Cotton breathes, guys. It breathes. Does it? So did he make them all touch Nightcrawler? Yeah. So Nightcrawler teleported and then instantly teleported back. But before he te- instantly teleported back, what's his name? Stopped time and got everybody together. and got everybody to touch him so they could get back onto the to the Blackbird. But how does he? By the way, Wait a but, but hold on, he speaks in the spaceship. Do you know? Like we have this muted, but Quicksilver. No, like, oh, let, let me go ahead and do all of it. whatever. Whatever. Right. He says saying. something in the spaceship, exposed to space, and somehow I guess Nightcrawler was like, "Yeah, Roger that. I heard you." <laughs> That's not how space works. <laughs> and now, granted, I understand this is a comic movie, but at least have some level of ability to ground it in some part of reality. Wait, I have a question. I didn't watch the last movie, but I've read I, about I it. I yeah, really yeah. need you to. I really yeah, need you to. I we need to sit down and watch it together, buddy. <laughs> as friends. As real friends. I, I've, I've read about it. fuck you. <laughs> and I, I, I've and, read about it. And, and this, is, and this, this clip is playing, which I, it, it continues to play, which I guess you see the solar flare hit the ship. And like, give Jean Grey some sort of uh, sun Don't, orgasm, right? I, I swear to God, if you ask the question, I think you're gonna. I'm gonna fucking punch you in the mouth. Go ahead. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the question. I know is. exactly what his question is. Can I do like? What? Can I do like a Johnny Carson thing? Can I write it down and show it to the audience? <laughs> I know what it is. Go ahead. But didn't the end of the movie? She was in the of the other movie. She, yeah, she was, was already. already she already yeah, had yeah, yeah. Like, come yeah. here, let me punch you in the face. <laughs> yeah. Stop asking dumbass questions Yo. that make total sense. Yeah. She already's got the fucking Phoenix Force, my nigga. That's how she beat Apocalypse in the last. Yeah, movie. yeah, yeah. That's she how she did. beat him, right? Yeah, literally, she was like, ah, and a bird came out. <laughs> and she walked out with an invisible bridge, and she fucking became Dark Phoenix. Yeah, literally, because apparently she could walk on air. Yeah. Oh, and it looked like she was literally walking shit. on something they just cut oh, out. On a platform, yeah. Like, it was so terrible. God damn, the movie sucks. Yo. You I... really, you, dude, look, look, one day, you guys just come over on a Saturday, and we'll just sit and watch it, look, and I just, I'm just going to videotape your response of like, <laughs> look, the only what? way I'm going to watch this is if we, we are able to do some sort of mystery science theater. No, we have to. We have to. 100%. Look, we talked about that. Yeah, 100%. Because ain't no way I'm spending my time. Uh, look, I will watch this for y'all. That's it. <laughs> You're watching the Nerdpocalypse YouTube channel. Make sure you click that button to subscribe and check out our weekly podcast where we talk about movie, TV, news, tech, and weird stories from around the internet.